Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the future of Vex and C for my channel. Because if uh, you've been watching my channel for around a year now, you can understand that a lot of my videos used to be on Vex. And uh, I used to watch Kickbug a lot, so I started playing Vex, started making videos on Vex. I made several um, on Vex around a year ago, and um, I just wanted to talk about if I'm coming back to Vex, and I'm going to start recording on it again, and maybe streaming on it too, like I did around a year ago. I used to stream on Vex last summer, and it was really fun. And I'm also going to be talking about the reason why I quit Vex around a few months ago, and yeah, like why I stopped uploading on Vex, and also sort of that kind of stuff. So first we're going to say, um, why I originally started posting videos on Vex is because I really started enjoying it. It was around a year ago. I started watching Kick the Pug. At that time, I haven't really recorded that often, probably around a few months since last time I recorded. And Kick the Pug really inspired me, and I started re uh, recording some videos on there. And it was really fun. Because at the time, there was a charity enchant, so I started getting really good at it. And my first video on Vex was a 800 crate key opening, and it did very well. So, I decided to come back and start recording more videos on there, and buying ranks on it too, because I have got a rank. And I've, I've pretty much all the money I've spent on here was from my actual money. I think only like one time it wasn't mine, and I did like a deal or something. So I just started playing it a lot, it was really fun. And... I just really enjoyed it, so I just kept uploading content on here, and it just became my thing. I started getting a lot of views on my videos, so I started getting up to 100 subs. It helped me get from, at the time, like 70 subs for like almost 5 months to all the way to 100 and beyond, probably almost 150. And around the time when I get 150, I quit Vex because... They removed a lot of stuff and added, like at the time, they they made Season 4. It was Season 4 5. I think it was Season 5. So when they released Season 5, they removed a lot of things that were really, like, a part of X that people really enjoyed. So, like, they removed the PvP mine. They removed Charity. They removed pretty much the OP-ness of the server. It became not as OP. And so a lot of, so it became not as much fun to record and play on it. So I moved on. And at the time, I started getting into Fortnite. So I didn't upload that much anymore anyways. And I just stopped playing it pretty much. I also kind of stopped playing Minecraft at that time too. So I just got bored of it. Because at that time, the only reason I played Minecraft was for Vex. Because it was so much fun. And um, I came back. And now I'm coming back because, um, because the patch notes got released for the Season 6 update, which comes out tomorrow morning, by the way, at 9 a.m. Central Time, I believe. Which I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream it, but I'm not gonna be able to stream it as, as it happens, because I'm not gonna be here tomorrow morning, so it's gonna be more like tomorrow afternoon when I play on it. Um, and they said a lot of things were changing here, moved. Well, not a ton of changes, but a lot of, but the changes were big. So first of all, let me pull up the thing so I can read off of it. So first of all, there's a new CAPTCHA system, which is not a very big change, but it's it's a it's a change. And and there's also second of all, there's they fixed the custom prestige colors you're saying on restarts. That was really annoying. That happened to me every time. So basically what happened if you go to prestige, go to prestige here, you go to edit your prestige prefix. You can change this. But every time you re-log the server, or every time I did, if you restart Minecraft, it will reset it back to the default gray. And now they fixed pet feeding, so you can now feed your pets and 
should upgrade them so they'll get like better token boost or XP boost or whatever. And they also fix uh, some other bugs. And a new, this is a, one of the bigger changes. They a they added a new thing called farming. So what he said, so what Frenzy said is farming. There's farm at spawn, gold warp, bedrock warp, god warp, and vex warp. These farms are the only way to get the food required to upgrade your pet. And also, Warp Free was removed, so I guess now the best mine, other than the rank mines, is Z. There is a new slash rule, so I guess they updated this, sort of, made it look different. There's a new slash help, and there's a new slash season. I don't think that's command yet. I guess it's going to say, like, season 6, resets in blah 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 days, or something like that. And now the biggest change that's going to make me, this is the reason I, I'm coming back, they added back the charity enchant. But they changed it a little bit. It's not a big change, they just they just added it where in, in slash settings, there, there's gonna be two more settings that can either one of them disables your own charity messages and one of them disables other people's charity messages. So basically charity's the same thing, but you can just disable them popping up in chat if you would like. So that's a big change, everyone a lot of people are going to be very excited for that because it's going to make the server OP again. It's going to make it very popular, especially Cake the Pug. Cake the Pug made a video on this uh, also, and uh, she's very excited. And then also, slash trade was removed. Trade is going to be removed where because um, there's a there's a big bug that made it so that like it wouldn't work, like you would lose items and stuff. So I guess they decided not to fix it, they just rather get rid of it. The server now allows 1.14 players to join, so now you can use the latest version of Minecraft and you can join the server. So now the server stretched from 1.8 all the way to 1.14. Slash trails have been removed for performance reasons, so I guess it was causing lag issues from people using it. And then jackpot prices have been updated. So I guess they changed the prices of these. These are really cheap, actually. What's the max jackpot? 1,500, yeah. So they're probably going to increase a lot more because it's really cheap and we have billions. And yeah. That's pretty much it, all that Framzing said for the patch notes. And I'm really excited for it. It should be coming out 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And yeah pretty much all I wanted to say, also, I am going to be coming back, I'm going to start recording on here again, streaming on here, all that, because it's going to be really fun, just going to say that, it, the new season is going to make Vex, like, over 10 times more fun, mostly because of Charity Enchant, because it's almost everyone's favorite enchant, it's really good, and if you don't know what the Charity Enchant is, it's basically, it costs a pretty good amount, it costs uh, around the same price as Sea Greed, but it has more levels, I'm pretty sure, probably like 10. And basically what happens is, whenever it happens, it's like a one of, it's a pretty good chance. It's, you don't, it, has, it doesn't happen that often. You, but depending on whatever your charity level is and what your pickaxe level is and stuff, you will be able to give everyone on the server a, a pretty decent amount of tokens and get like five times more tokens of that for yourself as well. So it's a really good way to, to to give everyone on the server some stuff like like a key all and stuff, and you're gonna be able to get some a lot of tokens from it as well. Like there have been people that got 200 million charities before, and it's really insane. So I guess the reason that they brought back the charity mine, uh, charity, but not PVP mines, because if they bought both of them back, it would be way too OP because people would get hundreds of millions of charities whenever it was in the PvP mine time, because it would, like, multiply the charity by, like, times five or something when you're in the PvP mine. And that was super OP. So, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.